At least 1,700 children die each year in the United States because of abuse or neglect. Child advocates say some of those deaths could be prevented if there were a better public accounting of the abuse leading to the deaths. Christina Real, senior staff attorney with the Children's Advocacy Institute at USD's Law School, is here to talk about what she believes is the need for more public scrutiny. Christina, the Children's Advocacy Institute has released a report basically saying that there's a culture of secrecy at the state level across this country that is hurting efforts to stop children from, from dying because of abuse and neglect. Describe this culture. Well, basically in child welfare in general, there is a need for secrecy to, in order to protect the children, and that is where the culture starts. But when it comes to fatalities or near fatalities that come from child abuse, that need for secrecy diminishes. In the case of a fatality, of course, the need to protect the child's privacy is diminished. And so, this, unfortunately, the states oftentimes are, don't, haven't paid attention to the federal requirement that the secrecy be diminished at the time that there is a fatality or a near fatality. Now, when we talk about secrecy, we're talking about secrecy surrounding details leading up to the child's death. What sorts of details, if they saw the light of day, would, would help the next case of child abuse um, in terms of preventing another child from dying? One of the primary details that would really help is knowing whether or not this child had previous encounters with the child welfare system, and if so, what happened because of those encounters? Was th did a social worker go out and decide not to remove? Or were there services that were provided to the family, but they were never actually helpful for this family? Uh, other details are what kind of abuse leads to the ch child's death. These are all different issues that would help us look at the child welfare system and see where are our fatal flaws, where can we improve. Okay, so how does this play out at the county level? And, and I know that you've graded states. What kind of grade did California receive? California received a C plus in this, in this report. Previously we did do a report in 2008 and they received an A minus. And California's uh, statutes has not changed, they haven't changed at all. But what has happened is the Department of Social Services has released regulations to implement those statutes. And through those regulations, they've actually decreased the opportunities for the release of information. For example, they require that there be a relationship between, that the child be living in the home of the abuser. Well, what happens when it's mom's boyfriend, for example, that is the abuser? And maybe the boyfriend is someone who provides regular childcare for the child or is visiting often. In those cases, right now, under the regulations, disclosure isn't required, but our state statute doesn't actually make those kind of limitations. And so how does this play out at the county level here in San Diego? So the way the child welfare system works in general and also with respect to releasing information is the county follows what the state requires. And so when the state isn't requiring the release of information, the county isn't releasing that information, but even more so, they're not really paying attention to that information. I was a couple years ago at a meeting where we were discussing child abuse fatalities and one county representative spoke up and said, you know, it wasn't until we were required to report this information to the state that we even really paid attention to the children that were dying. Instead, we used to walk away from this information, but now we're at least having to confront this happened and let's look at what happened. So at a county level, if we're not looking at what happened, we don't know how to fix it. and so the chance of more children dying in San Diego was great, whereas if we had the light of day, if we were looking at these cases and really paying attention to how to fix it, it would make children in San Diego County safer. Are there any efforts to get further legislation in there that would prevent regulations that would again deny the public access to this information? Well, the, like I said, the state statute that we is the same and it's what we graded and it's pretty good. But is so, there any way to get rid of the regulations that the state has implemented that basically negate the statute? And right now the Children's Advocacy Institute has filed a lawsuit to challenge these regulations in stating our position is that they don't comply with state law. So we're still in the early stages of that litigation, uh, but our goal is to enforce what state statute actually is. There is a bill right now in, uh, in the legislature in California that would uh, provide more, more information about these deaths. Christina Real, thank you for speaking to us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.